नमस्कार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ हेल्दी पास्ता डिश विथ स्पाइसी तुलसी सॉस नाउ टू मेक दी पास्ता वी हैव अ होल वीट फ्लावर 200 ग्राम्स वी रिक्वायर टू होल एग्स फ्यू सॉल्ट एंड सम ऑलिव ऑयल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट मेकिंग दी डो वी हैव अ होल वीट फ्लावर व्हिच इज 200 ग्राम्स विल क्रिएट अ वेल इन द सेंटर विल बी जस्ट बीटन अप Add in the center. We'll reserve some and we'll add it later on. Starts forming the dough. Adding all the eggs. Pinch of salt. Now we can use our hand to mix the flour well with the egg. Dough is getting formed. Need to knead it well. Okay, now my dough is ready. I'll just sprinkle some olive oil into it. I'll need it back. Now this pasta dough requires some resting. I'll cover with cling film. Now cover the dough well. and keep it for almost half an hour to make spicy tulsi sauce the ingredients are fresh tulsi shredded spinach garlic clove green chili little bit cashew nut and some salt okay. so now we'll make the spicy tulsi sauce we require tulsi going now here little bit of spinach which will give you a green color nice green color garlic cloves green chili cashew nuts some salt and olive oil all the mixture Okay, so now my tulsi sauce is blended well. And cook along with the pasta. Now, after this, I am going to show you how to make pasta because my dough is rested already. So the paste is ready. now my pasta is rested for almost half an hour now we need to make a sheet and we'll need to knead it once again to get a nice smooth texture of the dough i'll just divide the dough So we'll go under the machine. This is my pasta machine, and we just need to roll it. We we'll keep on decreasing this thickness. So the pasta is getting rolled and it's getting nice thin. Now it can be dusted with the same whole wheat flour.
minimum of like 1 mm to 2 mm thickness and we are going to create tagli teli one more time the same thing okay wait ready shot on <laughs> so my pasta sheet is almost done i need to just little i need to, need to make little more thinner because i need to make the tagli teli which requires 1 to 2 mm of thickness shot on Yes. Cut it neatly. Then, with the help of knife, a strips of tagliatelle. So we got these strips of tagliatelle ready. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the same pasta without the pasta machine. If you don't have pasta machine at home, you can even though make the sheets. And so now we have sheet, and now we don't have. If you don't have a pasta machine at home, we can make even pasta sheets by rolling them with the rolling pin, which is very, I mean, readily available at any any home. So now I'm going to show you how to roll the same same uh, pasta dough into sheets. Now you get the almost same kind of thickness, but we had made with the pasta machine. We need to roll it little more to get the right thickness. Okay. Now you see the same thickness of the dough. What we made with the machine, it's evenly spread it, and now we'll cut it accordingly. Trim off. Now you see, if you mix it all together, it's all the same. Now we need to boil the pasta, and to boil the pasta, we need to take generous amount of, you know, the high amount of water because the pasta has to be boiled well. And I'm going to add some salt in the water to season my pasta well, and approximately 10 ml of olive oil to it. it will not stick. The pasta will not stick together. I'll just wait for. The water to get boiled. Now almost my water is boiling. I will add a pasta, which are cut into the strainer. Strainer goes into the water. Give a little stir that cooks well. It takes around five minutes to boil the pasta. Never over boiled pasta because it has to have some bite feeling. And that is also termed as al dant. In Italian, we call it as al dant. 
when we cook the pasta it should not be very soft or overcooked it should give some bite feeling and that is called the right doneness of pasta the pasta is now boiled now the pasta is boiled we'll add some olive oil to avoid any sticking and then just lightly mix it and let it go a little cold and we'll meanwhile we can make the sauce for it to finish the sauce we require some chopped onions minced garlic some parmesan cheese grated and one lime okay now we'll start making the sauce we need pan which is hot now we'll add some olive oil to it okay we got some chopped onion we'll go in don't brown the onion just sweat the onion along with some garlic sweat your onions and garlic together then the pasta which we boiled it toss along with the onions and garlic and then we have our green nice green tulsi paste will be adding and it forms a nice sauce just mix it with whole pasta as i told you don't over boil the pasta or don't over cook the pasta the green sauce is all cooked and just remove it off on the plate sauce is cooked and nicely coated with the pasta now i will just plate it now it's time to place on the plate your healthy pasta or wheat flour whole wheat flour based which goes on a plate and what about all the extra sauce will be poured on small amount of parmesan cheese and the nice fresh basil leaf for the garnish so now we are ready with the pasta which is very healthy very nutritious better and everyone can have elder as well as a child